Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 seven mall channel, your source for on point and no hype reviews. Welcome back yet again, everybody. We've got another video today. First and foremost, happy 4th of July to everybody. It's going to be a long weekend, which I really like. And because of that, we're going to make a few videos for y'all, for y'all that have been missing my videos for a few days. We've got another big one right here. Now before I continue, please do not forget to like and subscribe guys. Yet again, liking, subscribing and watching the ads does definitely help the channel in a big way. Again, it helps me speed up the process by procuring a lot of these samples that I try and use and then eventually I'll get you guys the videos. Now this video comparison of two fragrances today in my opinion is long overdue as well because one of them I've owned for a couple of years now. I've used it especially in the summer and then the second one is actually a flanker of that which is heavily favored in the Fragcom space. Fragrances I am talking about are both Sergeoff fragrances. The original is Mephisto, Casamorati Mephisto right here, which I own a full bottle of. And the Flanker, which is very popular in Fragcom, is Mephisto Gentiluomo. Gentiluomo is the flanker of this one right here. Now the original Mephisto I've owned for a couple years and Gentiluomo is actually a new one that I got maybe like three, three and a half days ago when I got my sample pack from Serge off right here with a bunch of new stuff for us to review. This one right here I wore straight for maybe like three days and so I've got a lot of input right here and I think it's worth talking about the differences between these because in my opinion although the notes seem similar there are some tweaks done in Gentle Womo that in my opinion make it a totally different fragrance compared to the original. Now let's talk about the original Mephisto for a minute. Mephisto right here is actually compared a lot to Creed Silver Mountain Water okay and it's being talked about as sort of like the one that's more niche like that has a more floral identity compared to Silver Mountain Water and there are a lot of similarities that they say but the thing is the interesting thing is that the notes are completely different from Silver Mountain Water especially the inky part. This one right here Mephisto the OG is one of my favorite niche fragrances especially for the summer but the thing is it's actually usable anytime and I'll tell you why. The OG Mephisto opens up with a very strong citrus component. This one opens up with bergamot, grapefruit, as well as Amalfi lemon. This one right here, the stress is on the Amalfi lemon. There's definitely a stronger concentration of lemon here that you will experience compared to Gentiluomo. For those I would say that are into citrus, like strong citrus blast openings, you will like this definitely better than Gentle Uomo because of that strong Amalfi lemon component. There will be grapefruit as well that is really dialed up and then the bergamot I think is secondary but like I said before the Amalfi lemon right here is a very very strong component. Now Gentle Uomo right here the opening is definitely a little bit different guys okay and that's because on the opening of Gentle Uomo just remember that Mephisto Gentle Uomo is more of a gentleman's perfume it's not really like a fresher perfume compared to the OG Mephisto. I don't know why a lot of people are saying it that way and because it's a gentleman's version it's not necessarily the citrus blaster that the OG Mephisto is. Now this right here Mephisto Gentle Uomo starts off with the same citrusy notes but the difference is here the grapefruit and the bergamot is actually dialed up as opposed to the lemons in the original Mephisto. And because grapefruit here is such a curve, it's not necessarily a bright citrusy note. Sometimes it just curves the entire fragrance. It's totally different as opposed to the OG that has a stronger lemon component. And with Mephisto Gentle Uomo, the big thing is the lavender. So lavender is also in the OG, but it is a mid note. But right here, lavender is an early top note. And I'm talking about seconds into smelling the citrus, smelling the grapefruit, the lavender does come in. And it is an uplifting spicy lavender. It's really nice, but that is the thing. That is the difference because the lavender comes in immediately turning this fragrance more into a gentleman's fragrance rather than a citrus blast fragrance. Now let's talk about the mysterious inky note that is produced by the OG Mephisto as well as Mephisto Gentiluomo that is oftentimes compared to Silver Mountain Water. Now in my opinion guys, the inky note that the OG produces comes from the fusion of the following notes. Lavender, Violet, Rose, and Oris. These four notes in my opinion create 
the inky note right here. And why is it similar to the Silver Mountain Water smell? Now, Silver Mountain Water has a black currant note that cuts through the green tea note. And that's basically what produces this inky note that they have. Now, right here, guys, the thing that cuts through the other notes is going to be your violet. And violet is that sweet candy-like scent. And it cuts through the fusion of lavender, orris, and rose, which actually the fusion smells like a tea-like smell as well. It kind of produces a tea-like smell. And so when you have the violet cut through that, then you start smelling something very, very similar to the Silver Mountain Water uh, black currant cutting through the green tea. Now with these two huge, huge difference, guys, because this one right here, the difference is timing. They both have the same notes, but in this case, lavender is a top note. You are going to experience a gentlemanly lavender smell right from the get-go, guys. And because the lavender is actually coming early right here, the inky part here is almost nothing. There's some, you're gonna smell that inkiness, that inky smell that this one has from Silver Mountain Water as well, but it's not going to last very long because of the timing. The lavender comes in early, so it doesn't have like an extended time to fuse with the other notes to create that Silver Mountain Water type inky smell. So right here, not so long, but this one right here, in this case, lavender is a mid note, and so, yeah, this one, you're going to get the inky uh, type of note for a very, very long time, a prolonged time, actually, as opposed to the other one. Now, because the lavender component of Mephisto Gentle Womo starts early and ends early, you are going to get a mid composed of rose, iris, as well as violet. And the outcome is actually different, guys. You are going to get a powdery stage here in the mid of Mephisto Gentle Womo that evolves into like a soapy green component. That again, this soapy green component, in my opinion, is very gentlemanly. I think you are gonna have some similarities as well with green Irish tweed. I think that there's actual violet leaf here as well that when you fuse it with the iris, you are gonna get something very, very similar to green Irish tweed. But definitely, it's a soapy green component after a powdery part that you are gonna get with Mephisto Gentle Womo. Now, right here with the OG guys, you are going to get a super long inky part. And I'm talking about eight, nine hours of this. The fusion of all these notes, lavender, rose, orris, and violet. Man, eight hours plus, okay? Eight hours plus. So I think that for me, you guys have to test if you guys actually like that part. If you're a big fan of the Silver Mountain Water, like inky vibe, then you're probably gonna like this one because this is a prolonged stage, probably eight or nine hours, maybe 10 hours of this. So that is a significant part of this on top of that really citrusy opening. Now, there's a reason why I killed this sample and let me show you guys, like it's dead, it's done. And that's because I really wanted to test the performance of Gentle Womo. Now, I noticed that Gentle Womo, is a lingering scent. It's automatically a lingering scent. And that's a stark difference from the OG because the OG has a strong citrusy blast and then it turns into a lingering scent. This one already starts off as a lingering scent because of the curve of lavender as well as the grapefruit. It just becomes a lingering scent. You're not gonna get a strong blast. So basically it's just right here. That's kind of like, you know, how I would uh, assess the smell of Gentle Womo, the performance. And to me, this one right here gets softer after the four hour mark. And I definitely overspray this guys, probably nine sprays from the little vial every time I wore it. So, you know, you can't say that, oh, it's just like a little sprayer compared to the big surge of sprayer from the bottles. I did overspray it and it's pretty much the same. I would say that this fragrance significantly weakens at maybe the five hour mark. And then after that, it's really like a here and there like lingering scent. This one right here, the OG definitely projects more in my opinion. And let me tell you, I wore this one day and then I went to the beach and I got wet a little bit. You know, I just played with my kids. And the crazy thing is after going to the beach for like an entire afternoon, I came back and even as I was about to sleep, I could still smell this thing. <laughs> all around me. So I would say that this one right here, the OG, projects a lot more and it stays a lot more. 
but who knows if you need to mega overspray this one but definitely if we're talking about performance the og beats gentle uomo as for owning both i know that a lot of y'all have questions if it's okay to own both gentle uomo and the og and my answer is actually yes because gentle uomo i think is more for like a young executive type guy like this one is very gentlemanly young executive and up this is something that i can wear to semi-formal to formal or anywhere where i'm probably wearing a suit and tie casual wise this is also good and i guess this is the reason why fragcom uh people actually like this a lot because this one right here it can be like a standard issue like use whenever you want in the summer type fragrance that like i said gives off a lot of gentlemanly uh traits and characteristics i would say kind of like a creed this one is like a creed to be honest if you like creed and you like their fragrances git and silver mountain water you'll probably like this one because this has a lot of components that creed has even their discontinued fragrances um, the dry down of this one is pretty simple. I don't think it's that crazy. It basically just goes into woods and musk and amber. And again, this is more for the gentleman for sure. Now the OG Mephisto right here, I think that this one right here is more for the niche head, to be honest. The ones that are really into niche, that appreciate the artsiness of niche perfumes. I think if it was a question of attracting the opposite sex and, you know, going on dates, I would rather wear Mephisto right here just because it just has a lot of really great characteristics that a lingering scent would have a lot of notes such as the lemon such as the inky note like i said that i think is very appealing and then i think gentle uomo i would actually wear on my lone wolf scenarios when i'm just on my own practical use i would wear this more uh, especially if i'm going to meet people that maybe i work with or people that are you know in my professional sphere i would definitely wear this more because it does give off the formal semi-formal gentlemanly vibe that's when i would wear gentle uomo all right so that is it that is my comparison review of the original zerjov casamorati mephisto and gentle uomo so let me know in the comments below guys what you think of this comparison have you ever done this comparison what do you prefer or do you own both which one leans better to your liking is it the og or the gentil uomo and i know this is long overdue so i'm really glad we got it out of the way so you guys can actually look at my comparison and check it before you buy and the beauty of serge off is that they do have these sample kits you get four of any of their fragrances guys and then it gets shipped super fast via fedex i think i only paid like 30 something dollars and it got to me within like five days fedex priority so guys if you want to test both then just order a sample pack and get both in my suggestion is to test both unless you already like silver mountain water unless you like that then maybe you can go straight into mephisto but other than that try both both are bangers for the summer both are great for the summer guys especially now so try them both i implore you to do it and let me know in the comments what you guys think once you've tried them okay so that's it guys i'm headed back please do not forget to like and subscribe i love seeing your comments guys so please comment below of what you think of some of these reviews that i've done and i'll see you guys on the next video this is troy d god bless take care peace